So here we are at our test, test facility in Auckland. Behind me you'll see the, the test jig for the foil can system. Emirates Team New Zealand has taken on the supply of the hydraulic side of the can system and Lunarosa are supplying the foil arm, which is the composite side. So part of the design is it's an electrically run hydraulic system which controls the cylinders which lift and lower the foil arm. We have an bat electric battery which runs an electric motor and that gives us our hydraulic pressure, which then through the control and the logic program on the PLC, we control the cylinders. Uh, they're about 40 tonne cylinders, uh, and, the, and the arm you see here, the aluminium arm, it's, it's designed and engineered to create, have the same characteristics as the carbon arm. So we get all of the vibrations and oscillations to, to match the real life. Uh, on the end of the arm, you'll see there's uh, four steel weights. There's a total of about 900 kilos of weight on there and that's to um, substitute the, the foil that will actually go on the end of the arm. The arm in the position it's at now is at 70 degrees which is basically when the boat will start to sail and start to foil and then from there we can on the windward foil it will be raised out of the water to an angle of 120 degrees. This is hopefully achieved over three seconds. There is a bit of oscillation still seen, but we're through the logic and trimming of the hydraulic system, we can alleviate that bounce at the end. We've been designing and engineering the system for over six months now. So during the last two weeks of actually finally putting the system together, we can now replicate the maneuvers on the boat. Uh, and by adjusting the logic, we can trim out the speed and any vibrations and we can analyse the dynamic movement of the whole system. Uh, everything's gone really well, it's everything fits the design and the model as we first imagined.